We are looking at the constant of variation uh, as it pertains to graphs, and this is IXL grade 8, section I.2. So again, this is going to use our formula up here in the upper right, slope equals change in y over change in x, because the constant of variation, this constant of variation here, that is the same thing as saying, what is the slope of this line? The higher the slope, the more it's changing for each move over along the x-axis. So the steeper the line, the higher the change, the more horizontal, the less the change. And if it's going down, the steeper down it is the negative, then it's changing in the negative direction. So before we start, we do need a couple of conventions. And the main one is how we talk about the points. We always use the x comma y convention, meaning that we go along the x and we go up along the y. So for example, this point would be 5, 3. So that's the point 5, 3. We'd write that as 5, comma, 3. And we put the parentheses around it. So that's how we use these points. And we find the change in y by saying y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So let's look at this first one here, the lemonade sales. Earnings number of cups sold, so how much per cup are they making? And that's really what the slope is saying. For every one cup over we sell, how much are we going up? And so we first have to find two points, because notice we have a point one, point one and point two. So we find two points on the line, and we have this point, and I see this point, and now notice all these points are on the line. You can choose any two of those. So let's choose this one. And so we go over two, up one. So this is the point two comma one. And again, I can choose any point because we will end up reducing, but let's choose this one way up here. This is over along x is eight. And we came up four. So those are our two points. So we use our formula here on the right. We say y sub two, we say y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So again, remember this is x and y and x and y. So this is point 1 and this is point 2. So y1 minus, sorry, y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. So 4 minus 1 is 3. 8 minus 2 is 6. And this can be reduced because they both have a common factor of 3 down to 1 half. In this case, we're making, we want it in dollars. So a half a dollar, we just have to convert this to a decimal, which is 0 0.50, and we say 50 cents per cup. So 0 0.50 dollars per cup, or 50 cents. All right, now this doesn't do the same thing. Let's find a couple of points. We'll do it in a different color, we'll do it in red. So we have this point, I see another point here, another point here, another point here, and it, we have lots of points on this one. So again, any two. So I'll choose this one. We go over two and up four. So this is the point two, four. And we choose this one right here. And this is the point. Actually, let's go over, let's do this point right here. So we went over three, that's our x, and we up six. So we're using two consecutive points. So again, we have y2 minus y1. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So 6 minus 4 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. So this is just two souvenirs per day. Now you might have noticed, we have, if we look on the left one, we have this triangle over 2 up one, over two, up one, over two, up one, over two, up one. Remember I said that this is the slope, and slope can also be called the rise over the run. So here's our run of two and our rise of one. Now if we come into this one, you might have noticed that we have a run of one and a rise of two. So let's compare these 
fractions. They are just reciprocals of one another. So just something to notice. Let's do a couple more examples. So now we have these two. We have this total length of the knitting, length of the knit per night. Again, we find we use our y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So we have to find two points, two xy points on the line. So we go here. Well, this is 1. Uh, 0, 0. That's nice. I like that. And we've got this point, and we've got this point, and then that's it. So this one is 3, comma, 40. 3, 40. And this one is, we come up over to the right, 6, that's our x, and we have to come up 80. So we can use any of these two points, it doesn't matter. I love 0, 0 though, because it makes the math much easier. So we'll use 340 and 0, 0. So y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Notice what happened. This is why 0, the origin, is a great point to use because it's easy to subtract 0. 40 minus 0 is 40, divide by 3. And so then we just have to do a little short division. So 3 goes into 40 once, with 1 left over. 3 goes into 10 three times with, oh, we better add a decimal here, with uh, one left over. It goes in there three times with one left over, and hopefully you can see this is just 333 three, three repeating. Write your answer is a decimal, round to the nearest hundredth. In this case, we'll say 13.3, and this three will then round that to a three as well. So 13.33 centimeters per night. But notice the formula is exactly the same every time. All right, so we have number of appetizer recipes, number of weeks. Oh, this is kind of nice. All these that have constant variation, right, are, that are proportional, they go through the origin. So all of them have 0, 0. And we can find one right here. This is 50. We went over 50 and up 30. And we also have this one. We went over 100 and up 60. So let's, we did 0, 0 on the last one, so we'll use these two points. So we'll use y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. 60 minus 30, that's 30. 100 minus 50 should be 50. And now we just have to divide. So, oh, wait a minute. What if we, we can do a couple of things here. Well, I know zero on top, zero on bottom, I can reduce. This is just three-fifths, which if I double each of these, becomes six-tenths. Well, I know how to write six-tenths as a decimal. It's just 0 0.6. That's a nice way to do it. So that's probably the fastest way to get this as a decimal. We could also do some division here, but this is probably the easiest, 0 0.6 appetizer recipes per week. So that means for every one week we go over, we go up 0.6. For every 10 we go over, we go up 6. So each time, that's how this works. All right, for every 10 over, we're going up 6. 6 tenths. 6 is our rise, and 10 is our run. Now, we can also go up this one, but it's a little harder to see on the graph because it's fits. So same idea, we find a point. Notice all these have zero, zero, but that makes it life a little bit too easy. So we will just pop these two points. And so this is the point, well, we go over and up. So this is the point three, 10. Now be careful, because this is three squares over and one square up, but realize that each one square is 10, right? So 10 miles for each practice. And this other one is six over and 20, right? So 620 is our point. So we make this more parentheses. All right, so we have y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. 10 over 3. We can do our short division. We'll go to the hundredths again. So 3 goes into 10. 3 times with 1 left over. 3 goes into 10. 3 times with 1 left over. You can see the pattern happening here. So 3 and 1 third, 
we'll round to the nearest hundredth rather, 3.33 miles per practice. So for every one practice, we go up three and a third miles, this would be six and two thirds, and short enough 10 miles after three practices. Different color. All right, same idea. I see a point here, a point here. So what are the coordinates of this first point? And the second point. So hopefully it says that you go over one, two, three. That's our x coordinate. We went up one, two, three, four. That's our y coordinate. For this one we went over six and up eight. So we take our y sub two minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So this is 4 over 3, or 3 goes to the 4, 1 and 1 third times. But we know 1 third is just 0.333 repeating, and we have the 1 in the front. So 1, one and 1 third quizzes per week. So that is the constant variations. You, again, you're just finding the slope of the line from the graph after you've found two points using their x, y coordinates. Then we say y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. 